While a lot of anime are getting delayed over the past few weeks because of the ongoing situation, we finally start to see some good news arise. The long-awaited Shingeki no Kyojin season 4 trailer is here and it is pure fire. This season would be the final season for the story and the new studio Mappa definitely went all in for it. At least from the looks of the trailer. Though I have to say that this preview has a lot like seriously a lot of manga spoilers. So I would recommend the anime only to not watch the trailer with a keen eye for details and rather enjoy the visuals and music in it. I wanted to discuss about my initial thoughts on the trailer first and I will be making another video where I would talk about all the manga references that were in it. Spoiler alert there are a lot. My first impression of this trailer was how beautifully animated it was. I was kind of worried when I heard the news that Witch Studio would not be working on the last season. It was very heartbreaking, but I respected their decision as they moved on to making anime original stories. But from the looks of the trailer, Studio Mappa has done a brilliant job at retaining most of the visuals of the previous seasons. The backgrounds, titans and character movements are all brilliantly done. The character designs have a slight change which is bound to happen when a studio changes although characters like Rainer, Zeke and Eren look the same. I was rather surprised by the eyes as one thing I was sure that the new studio would not be able to replicate were the eyes. But they did a good job on that. Though they look a bit small, they are still heavily detailed. Coming to the 3D CGI animation of Colossal Titan It looked better than the ones in the previous season, especially the one in season 3 part 2. And the overall animation is done very well. It doesn't feel like there was a studio change, which is actually a good thing as we have seen what happens when a new studio doesn't adapt the new season very well, like in the case of One Punch Man. I just hope this kind of animation stays consistent throughout the season, which I'm guessing would be around 25 episodes or more as there is a lot of content to go through. get ready for at least two split cores as that is the norm nowadays with anime having 24 plus episodes and the music was perfect for this preview it kept the hype building up as we go on watching it you guys must be familiar with the god tier music composition of hiroyuki sawano by now well for this season it looks like he is in the main guy for the music department with kota yamamoto being mentioned in the trailer though it had been said that they would use sawano's music from the previous seasons as well so that's a plus The Titan fighting sequence and transformations weren't a problem to me as well. They didn't feel odd. This particular aerial shot of Eren screaming at Mr. the buildings and the havoc was brilliant. Really sets things into perspective. Just hoping that they stay consistent with this level of animation. As Studio Mappa is known for dropping the animation a bit in between with Dororo being the prime example. I hope they prove me wrong and stay consistent. The voiceovers from the beginning of this trailer were chosen very thoughtfully. With the first voiceover being of a new character, Falco, followed by Gabby, who is another new character. I won't spoil as to who they are, but from the scenes they look to be a part of an army. And then we hear the voice of our main character, Eren Yeager, quickly followed by Rainers. And after that, we finally hear the voice of Willy Tiber, who is another new character who plays a major role in this arc. He seems to be giving some sort of speech. And then comes a series of quick shots with epic music playing in the background to wrap up this magnificent trailer. I have thoroughly enjoyed it, with my only dislike being that of Chubby Levi. Seriously, who is this guy? He reminds me of Big Chungus. All in all, it was a very good trailer. I have already watched it 10 times since its release and I'm very much excited for it. Even though I'm a manga reader and already know what's going to happen, I will surely make another video where I talk about all the manga references in this trailer and do an in-depth analysis which would certainly be a spoiler for the anime only. I hope we get more such anime trailers to keep us hyped and looking forward to the future in such trying times. As always, if you enjoyed this video, do consider liking it. Watch some other videos of mine and if you like them, do consider subscribing as well. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.